about our pregnancy. I haven't been updated because on our second visit to the doctor they told us that we were gonna have a miscarriage and we we didn't believe it because you know when when you see your baby when when you you know you feel him you get symptoms you just know that he's there that your baby's there. But then, on our second visit, they told us that the baby measured eight weeks and five days, and I was I was supposed to be nine weeks, which is not far off. So we were like, okay, well, it's normal. Maybe I had my period calculations wrong, and then from there they told us like there's a heartbeat. And then when we were going to hear it, there was no heartbeat. So they told us, they mistold us, and there was no heartbeat. So we were so devastated, we were sad, we were crying, we couldn't believe what was going on. So then from there, we went home and started crying all day. I didn't, then from there, I didn't believe them. I started reading that sometimes they could be a mistake it could be a mistake so then from there I started reading saying that sometimes the the way that the baby is positioned or the way that it's too small so we decided to wait because I was having it I wasn't having any symptoms of a miscarriage I wasn't cramping I wasn't bleeding I was still had my pregnancy symptoms, I was fine, nothing was going on with my body. And then from there, they just told me that maybe um, my body didn't realize it yet, that it would take time, it could take up to a month or two to realize what was going on. So then from there, um, we decided to wait and see if it, the baby would come naturally, and which it didn't. We waited and waited and I was already 14 weeks far along and my belly was still growing and I felt like they were, they were wrong. My baby's still in there, I still have symptoms, no, no cramping, no bleeding, so I was like, okay, I made it, my baby is safe, my baby is in there and they made a mistake because my belly was growing as well. So from there, we decided to go to a second opinion doctor, and also we didn't like how we were treated in the first clinic, so we decided to go somewhere else. From there, um, when we went to somewhere else, um, I was getting ready for an ultrasound, and from there, they told us that, that yes, the baby stopped growing at 8 weeks and 5 days, that I was supposed to be 14 weeks. And then I was going to have a miscarriage. Then I was going through a mis miscarriage. There was no heartbeat. So I was really sad, devastated. And that night, I was started. I started spotting. And from spotting, it never changed. I didn't even go to work for a whole week. And I was getting ready for the miscarriage. Which, let me tell you guys. You're never ready. You're never ready. It was so hard. And a week passed. No miscarriage. I only I only spotted her that day and nothing happened. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on with my body? Is this really going on? I really tried for a whole year and two months for this to happen, for me to go through a miscarriage. I don't understand. So from there, uh, from there, we waited a whole week. Nothing happened. So then I called my doctor, my first doctor, that I that I didn't like the clinic, and they told me, 
come in, we'll check the baby again and see what's going on. So they checked it for the third time and they confirmed that yes, I'm, I'm going to have a miscarriage, that there's no heartbeat. And they prescribed some medications for me to pass the baby to help me with the miscarriage. And that day was June 18th. And it was the hardest moment of my life because even though he had no heartbeat, I felt like I was doing a mistake. But then, from there, I decided that I needed to have faith. That I needed to um, um, go through this because it wasn't going to be healthy for me as well. That um, the baby was in there for a, a whole month with no heartbeat and my belly was growing and growing and it wasn't healthy for me either so from there I took the medications in the morning like 10 in the morning and nothing was happening time was passing I was getting cramps pretty bad worse than a period cramp so then from there I decided that that I was like just go for a walk let's see what happens because four hours were passing I didn't feel like I wasn't bleeding I didn't feel like it was coming or anything I went for a long walk from there when I came back my water broke and then I ran to the bathroom and then it's when I passed the baby and then we had the miscarriage it was really hard really painful seeing it pass seeing it See and all that. So I bleed for a whole week and a half when it finally was over and over with the miscarriage, but it's still in in my heart. I'm still in pain. It's still really hard for me because it was my first baby and we struggled for so long and we went through so much this to happen and I don't understand and I will never understand why it went like this but I have faith that one day I'll become a mother and now I have a little angel looking over us and it's really hard guys but whoever has gone through this or is going through the, this just remember have faith I know it's not easy but you'll get through this and this is why I haven't made any videos because it's been already a month since I went through this and it's been so hard. I missed work for almost a month because I was going through all this emotional, all this miscarriage and bleeding that it was so hard for me and for my husband. He could stay with me for two weeks which I was so thankful and so grateful that he was able to be with me for two weeks. And I'm very, very sad it went this way. But like I said, I have faith that one day I'll become a mother. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.